Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of Design Tech. And in today's episode, we are finally going to get our ME system all set up and ready to go. So I've been very busy between episodes, basically just making a whole bunch of this circuitry, uh, processors and all sorts of crazy stuff. And uh, basically what you do is you take the inscriber, you can make it faster by putting a hopper feeding into this side of it. Um, so if we put redstone, it'll automatically feed in there. And then you can take, just as an example, let me grab, you know, silicon and diamond. That'll make one of these engineering processors and so on and so forth. And that's basically what I've been doing, uh, for quite a while now. So... What we're planning to do is we're going to set up an ME system. I've got a spot already kind of pre-made for it, but we need to actually get some stuff first. So we're going to need this ME controller. We'll need one of those. Skystone block. I'm going to have to smelt some Skystone, which should be easy enough. I have plenty of Skystone. And on top of that, I also have this fancy... Redstone furnace, a re not just any redstone furnace, but a resonant redstone furnace. So, look at the speed on that thing. It just flies, just absolutely flies. So let's see. There we go. Now it's actually being powered by this energy cell. But it's just flying through that stuff. That's going to get us plenty of that sky stone. So, we'll also need pure fluix crystals. Well... I happen to have a bunch of those, so we're good on that side. And we need an engineering processor, which we just made. So, there we go. We now have the ME controller. We're also going to need an ME drive, and for that I'm going to need a little bit of these glass cables. Let's see, do I have any hiding in here? Looks like I do. So, let's make a few of those. Oh, wrong one. Let's make like 16 of those, that'll do. And then we're going to need some iron, which I have a huge amount of. And lastly, two more of those engineering processors, which I can make pretty easily. So we'll take you, redstone, put some redstone in there, and uh, let's just make a few of them. I'm sure we're going to need them for some other stuff as well. But... You'll notice that this inscriber is actually going pretty quick. It's much faster than the default. That's because I took some time between episodes to invest in some acceleration cards, three of them to be exact, and those make this process much, much faster than it would be otherwise. So let's see. We've got our ME drive now. I'm definitely going to want a... Um, do, 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 cable and or bus, ME interface, ME chest. Where is the crafting interface? Apparently I'm blind. Um, oh, nope. Oh, here we go. Crafting terminal. That's what we need. So we're going to need a crafting table and ME terminal. Okay, so I'll need a couple more logic processors. That's gold and silicon. So let's make a few of those. We'll need a few more because I have exactly the number that I want right now for the, uh, the drives in the ME system. So I need to make a few more of these. We'll just make like six. I think that'll be plenty. Let's go ahead and put a bunch of this stuff back. There we go. So, ME terminal, logic processor, okay, we're good there. We actually need some Fluix dust. And I do not have any Fluix dust at all right now. So, let's go fix that. And the reason for that is because I turned it all into pure Fluix. And that doesn't really do me any good. These pure Fluix crystals in this case, uh, they're not really helping me out so much. So we'll just throw that stuff into the water, back up, and that will quickly turn into Fluix crystals. This you've seen, you've seen this stuff before, guys, so I'm not going to focus on it too much. Anytime now, oh, you know what? I know what I did. 
That was supposed to be... That was supposed to be charged Certus Quartz. I swear I did the exact same thing last episode. Throw that in there. And then let's see... Do I have any... I have a little bit. Okay, we'll just toss that in there. And there we go. Now we got some Fluix Crystals that we can use to make that fl that uh, Fluix Powder or whatever it is that we need. So that'll fly in here. There we go. That's getting us the stuff, getting us the goods. Okay, so... And we need Certus Quartz. We'll grab some pure Certus Quartz right there. Uh, what? Why did that not work? Oh, Dark Illumination Panel. Gotta make one of those. And I'm gonna need some Glowstone, it looks like. Let's just dump this glass off for a minute. Let me run and grab some. Should have some hiding right there. There we go. Dark Illumination Panel. Uh. What did I miss? Redstone, iron, quart, quartz glass, right? It was it was supposed to be quartz glass? Illum yeah. That should... There we go. Now it wants to work. That was strange. Okay, whatever. So, now we should be able to make this. We'll have to make those first. Uh, I think I only need those two. And this is really derpy sometimes. Uh, let's just do it manually. No? No? Why, why did that not work? Dark illuminated panel? Or illuminated panel? Logic processor? Formation core? Okay. This... This should be working. Illuminated panel to... Does it have to be a bright illuminated panel? It does. Okay. So we need to craft this again. And now... No? Still no? Bright illuminated panel. Logic processor. Those thingies. Why? Why is this so annoyingly complicated? Illuminated panel. Dark illuminated panel. Okay. I have a bunch of those. I'm very confused right now. I'm not sure why this isn't working. Uh, let me see if I can get it figured out, guys, and I'll be right back. Alright, guys. I am back, and I figured out what it was. I'm a derp. I'm totally a derp. It's a formation core and an Annihilation Core. So, we gotta make one of those, too. Now we should be able to craft this thing up. So, uh, it does seem as though my inventory has gotten a wee bit full. So, let's just put all of our ME-related stuff into this backpack right here. Okay. Now I should be able to make this thing. There we go. Now we have an ME terminal. And that means we should now be able to make the crafting terminal, which is ultimately what we wanted in the first place. Uh, although I do need to make a crafting bench to take with us. And we'll head back over here and grab the... We need one of these things, I believe it was, right? Calculation? Yes, okay. So, we got ourselves the Emmy Crafting Terminal, which is fantastic. So, controller, drive, terminal. I think we have the majority of what we actually need. Uh, I am going to mix this up a little bit. And I changed my mind, and I'm going to put a lot of this stuff into the white backpack instead, I think. We'll just do a little bit of that. There we go. 
Okay, so now that we've got that all sorted out, now the next step is we need to make ourselves some ME drives. So let's take a look and see what we need for those. Oop. And I'm going to use 4K drives because they're fairly inexpensive. They're not super difficult to make, uh, but they also store a fair amount of stuff as well. So we are going to need, I think I want six of these. So we're going to need a bunch of these thingies. The 1K, uh, is it the storage component? Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to need a bunch of pure Certus Quartz. And I'm going to need a bunch of these too. We're going to need a total of 18 of these things. And I'm going to need more redstone. Let's just do a massive amount of redstone. There we go. So as I said, we need 18 of those bad boys. And then we also need, let's see, uh, would it be six of these? Yeah, six of these. So, there we go. And that should be basically everything we need to make four of those drives. So now, I think we now have everything we need to set up our ME terminal, except we're missing one very important thing, and that is power. So what we will do is we're going to make a reactor power tap, which will be very easy to do. We should have everything we need for it already, I think. Let's see, where would I keep, ah, there we go, reactor casing. So we're going to make a reactor power tap, just one. And then we also need to make a another one of these energy acceptors. So let's do one of those. And now I think we've got everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our big reactor. Let's uh, deactivate it just for a moment. And you may remember, I think it was last episode, I made myself a power tap or a, uh, a tesseract, a couple tesseracts. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a power tap right there. We're going to go into our backpack to grab one of those tesseracts, and we're going to hook it up right here. And then let's just do uh, a... a thingy and call it wireless power. Uh, we'll put it on 100, I guess. Set frequency, save frequency, and we want this to be send energy, everything else, and turn that to ignored. So, this is now going to send energy from the reactor to wherever we need it to go. And now we can boot our reactor back up, get the power going again, and that means no more crazy wires running everywhere, no more wackiness like that, and that is awesome. So, I've decided that I'm gonna put my ME system basically at the end of this tunnel right over here, okay? So, what we're gonna do is we will hook uh, we're going to use this space back here for things like the power. And you won't even be able to see into this room once it's all done. So let's go grab the necessary stuff. I'm just going to put a lot of this stuff away temporarily. We will need the energy acceptor. We are going to need all the drives. And we will need the crafting terminal and probably this glass cable as well. So let's see. First and foremost... ME drive, I want to go right here. And we're going to put all of that stuff in there. Okay? So this is going to give us a massive amount of storage space. Now, the controller, I'm going to put right here. And I think I can put... No. No, I can't. 
Um, do, 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 do. Ah, there's my cables. I think what I can do, and I say this as someone who's never done it before, I should be able to craft now out of the ME storage system. So, this is good. This is good so far. However, we need power. So, we're just going to use our wrench real quick to grab this stuff up. And we need to get some power going into this thing. We also need uh, not only power, but we also need a way to easily put items into it as well. And that is equally as important, if not more important. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock this stuff out. And I want... I think it's called an export bus. Yeah, there we go. So we we need a formation core, which I believe we still have, right? Yeah, formation core. Good, good, good. We need a piston, and we need a couple of iron ingots. So let's go get that stuff. In fact, guys, let me get everything together that I'm going to need, and I will be right back with you. All right, guys, I am back, and you can see it's all lit up for at least a little while. I got it figured out. I did want to test it before I uh, showed it to you guys, but I've got an idea. Uh, basically, what I'm going to be doing here is making use of a Tesseract for two purposes. First and foremost, the Tesseract is going to be the power. Okay. So, actually, we're going to get rid of that. And we're going to put this energy acceptor right here which will take power from the Tesseract, it's already on the correct frequency, drawing power from the big reactor, and sending it directly into the ME system. So, that is our power solution. Then, we're going to take this ME export bus, put it right there, and hook that thing up as well. So, any items sent to the Tesseract, I believe, also go in to the ME system as well, although I haven't actually tested that part of it yet. So that's what we're going to do right now. Let's grab another Tesseract. Let's grab... Oh, I don't have any chests. Okay, let's just, uh, let's just head back upstairs. There is nothing in the ME system right now at all. Not a thing. So what we're going to do is... We'll grab maybe an item conduit like that. And let's go ahead and grab... Um... Do, 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 chest. There's a chest. Let's just grab these saddles. Those are non-stackable items that take up way more space than they should. And we'll put that to insert... And we'll put this to extract always. And then we need to set this to blocked, blocked, and send only. There we go. I saw it pull one. Okay, so it pulled one, but that's it. So now, the question is, did it end up in the ME system, or did it go somewhere else? It went somewhere else. So, does this need to connect here? To the drives directly? Is that what's going on? Or did it just get lost altogether? Okay. Export bus. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Hmm. What did I do? Nothing used. Can I... Hmm. This part's all fine. What did I do wrong? Hmm. Let me play around with it for a little bit, guys, and I'll be right back. 
All right, guys, I am back, and I think I figured out what I did. I think I also need one of these import buses as well. Um, this worked beautifully. All that stuff is now sitting in the chest, right where it belongs. So we can grab this stuff. That part of it went just fine. Now, what we need to figure out is how to get the stuff actually into the ME system itself. And as I said, I think it is this import bus right here that I need. And we'll go... Will that connect right on there? Yes, it will. There. Now. Do you fill? Do you do your thing? No? You know do your thing. Okay. Do you... Does it have to connect directly right here? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wait. It, um, what, what just happened? I'm not sure what just happened there. Hopefully I didn't lose all of my stuff. Um, because that would be horribly unfortunate. Oh, oh no. What did I do? I, oh, there we go. Oh, no, I think I may have lost all my, I may have lost my drive. No? Okay, well, the good news is, I think I figured out what the problem is. I think the import bus is here, and the export bus goes there. The bad news is it grabbed all of my stuff. Oh, here we go. Okay, so now we can put our drives back in. Like so. And if we put these saddles here, they should disappear and end up in the ME system, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we got that figured out. Now, um... Now, the problem is this becomes considerably more difficult to disguise. So, how do we want to go about doing that? Maybe the best thing to do would be to take you and put the ME controller over here instead. And that way, we can grab all this fancy smancy stuff and sneak it back here like that. That I think is probably the best thing to do. And then we can when we can just go ahead and disguise all this stuff as before. Um But now it's not getting now I'm not getting power. Why am I not getting power? I should be getting power. Um, now I have power. Okay. But this can be hidden with a, uh, a facade since it's, oh, it's not one of the applied energistics ones. Oh, man. Hmm. I know what we can do. When in doubt, do it the old fashioned way. There we go. Power. Beautiful. Okay. So, we have a working ME system, which is good. I do want to get some upgrades on here. Uh, I'll just put those speed upgrades probably to the export and the import buses, just so it can load items in there faster. As far as space goes, we're golden. Uh, and we do have the crafting terminal as well. And on top of all that, it's running on a Tesseract network. Which means, as long as I keep this area chunk-loaded, I will have no issues whatsoever uh, getting stuff into that network. Uh, even, uh, I mean, basically, I carry a Tesseract around with me everywhere I go, and I'm set. I can just 
dump stuff directly into my ME system from anywhere, any dimension, anywhere in the world. So, we are in good shape, guys. And uh, I think the rest of this stuff I can probably do off camera, pretty it up, make it look good, uh, all that kind of stuff. But guys, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.